All right. It's Bill. It's the night nurse. I am the pulse of positivity. I am the night. I am the nurse. I am the positive person who shows support for all their channels and tries to be positive all the time. Except some nights at work when you feel like the nurse of negativity because people are on your last nerve and driving you nuts and you need your coffee but you haven't had it yet. So we got some stacks here. We've got some VHS. We've got we've got a Game Boy Advance or yeah, Game Boy Advance game. I've got some Wii U. We got some PS4, PS3. Let's go through this. See what we got here. Let's see. We'll go PS4 first. Go backwards. PS4. Steelbook. Bought it at Best Buy. Yakuza Kiwami. Great game, haven't yet to play it because it's still got the slip cover with the steel bookcase. It's like it my it, during too many games, it was the number one thing I bought was steel bookcase games. And my problem is you gotta handle these carefully because they scratch easy. Because they notice I got a scratch on it already on the front. And I was like, really? I just got it and I scratched it. Upsetting. But great game. It was a nice price too. I think it was under 20 bucks. Love the. Well, I haven't tried the game yet. I want to try the series, but I'm starting with this one, which is kind of unusual. But I've seen it. It had steel book cover, so I was so happy. Watch Dogs includes 60 minutes of exclusive gameplay on the PS4. Picked this up. I haven't tried it yet. I did play it once before, just to try it out, but I haven't played it through. But we'll be playing it soon, so you gotta to get to that. Then we're going to be buying Watch Dogs 2 next. And then, cause it's, it's got the good story, good gameplay and everything. Knack, 2014. One of the games that came out when the, first, when the PS4 first came out. I hadn't, didn't own a PS4 at that time. But since I bought my father's PS4 prior to him passing in August, I've been playing the heck out of it and loving it. My Wii U collection, I think, is surpassing the PS4 collection, though. I think I'm up to 20, 21 Wii U after we show the after I show off the ones I bought. But all right, Mighty Number no. Nine bought this game. It actually bought it at Walmart. It was 6.88. So I thought at least if it has the disc in it, I want to play it. So great, I'll pay 6.88 just for the disc clone. But luckily enough. It has come on, unfold there. The two sided poster, the mighty number nine. There's Beck. It is pose. Has that. Also, it happens this is the greatest art part that I thought. So I was so happy to see it. The mighty number nine art book small and very nice but it was a nice addition to once this became a physical item mighty number nine back pyrogen cryosphere dynatron seismic but the art book i was so happy to see that when i paid for 688 heck yeah all right let's see wii u GameStop, Ninja Gaiden, Razor's Edge, with the manual. I was happy that the manual was in there, because a lot of games, when you buy them at GameStop, you're lucky if you get the manual, but I'm always happy to see that. Rhodia, the Sky Soldier, Soar Through the Skies. It has both the Wii U copy and the Wii copy. The, the cover itself, I prefer the artwork of the Wii, the Wii side because it has the better artwork on it but since it's for the Wii U collection I don't want to I want to display the Wii U side of it versus the Wii, the Wii side even though the artwork on the Wii side looks nice get in there all right Yoshi's Woolly World for for the Wii U 
Still sealed, haven't yet to play it because it's in my list of games that I need to play. But I've been playing the PS4 so much, it's kind of hard to bounce back and forth. But that will get open soon. Because I, I loved um, the other yarn based games. and I need to get un unwound. I'm just... Yeah, right. It's all good. Oh well. Steam World Collection, Steam World Heist, Steam World Dig. A fistful of dirt. The dig one I prefer better than the turn-based style of heist because what's odd is when you're playing solo you're moving stop take end your turn move again stop end your turn it should just be like a nice platform but it's a good game nonetheless and it's for the Wii U so I've yet to buy a switch I want to buy a switch it's in the plans but you know first things first all right, Untold Legends, The Dark Kingdom, the ultimate next action RPG experience. This was a Goodwill find. Has the manual, nice thick manual. I was happy to see that because a lot of games, you're lucky if you find them with a manual anymore. So anytime you do, it's always nice to see the nice manuals or it comes with any of the extra content like posters and other stuff. Ratchet, Tools of Destruction. No manual, but disc is in excellent condition for $2.99 I'll take it Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince does have the manual for $2.99 you're darn right all right because of, there was nothing else that they had there and I seen this Nicktoons Unite Spongebob Danny Phantom Jimmy Neutron and Timmy and it has a manual just happy to see that all right now Let's move on to VHS. Daniel Day, RGC, Retro Gaming Club. Dungeons and Dragons, when I watched your Rate My Junk, and I was like, I just picked this up as well. Because I seen it had Marlon, Marlon Wayans in it, and then it has the girl who played the princess in The Never Ending Story. So as soon as I seen that, I thought that was awesome. That's why I ended up picking it up. Emilio Estevez, Rob Lowe, Ali Sheedy, Judd Nelson, Demi Moore, in St. Almost Fire. Great 80s flick. A lot of the great 80s movies always had a great soundtrack. This is this is none. This will not let you down. Great movie, great soundtrack. Alright. Awesome rides. VHS. About roller coasters and theme park rides. But the cool thing was, it said trading cards inside. So I slid the tape out and checked. And lo and behold, the trading cards complete, uncut, un with the perforated edges all together. So someone had bought it and watched it and then never took it out. So I was happy for that. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, we love you. Dick Van Dyke. Classic movie. It is from 1968 originally. The VHS is 1989. But, good movie. Good, good music in it. It's all about the car. The flying car, which we should be having by now, because it is 2017, and we're not living like the Jetsons. We're not even. Some things, though, because we have our I, the Apple Watch, we have our phones, we can watch movies and videos on, and record movies and videos on. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part Two. And the nice thing about this, direct digitally remastered nice little fold open one so I like these VHS that have a little something extra digitally transferred from the original 35 millimeter stereo soundtrack presented in theatrical aspect of 1.85 to 1 okay now it's theatrical and it's good but now we're at 16 by 9 and the quality is so much improved since this tape but it's always nice to watch the classics that way you can enjoy it in its original entirety in the original way it was filmed and everything Elvira's Haunted Hill look at those haunted hills look at those haunted hills excellent actress played she played the role of Elvira for many many years 
and sometimes she goes to um, different cons and shows up at horror cons and stuff like that in her makeup and stuff. But Elvira. And in her show, she was on like Elvira, Mistress of the Darkness, which was like on late night. Kind of B-rated horror films, but they were always enjoyable and fun to watch. Muscle Rock Madness. Wrestling and rock and roll like you've never seen before. Videos, beautiful women, and rocking, and wrestling. 36 minutes, not bad. But I saw this, and then I also seen Beyond the Mat, the full-length movie. We have Terry Funk, Mick Foley, The Rock, China, R.I.P., rest in peace, China. Good film, all about wrestling and behind the scenes. Billy Zane as the Phantom. Lenticular cover for 48 cents. Yeah, I picked, yeah, I grabbed it because it has the lenticular cover. Nice, good animated film from back in the 80s, 1982. The Secret of Nim. Excellent movie. Kind of a dark cartoon, but it was kind of, it was, it was really good. And just because it's turtles, it's turtles and the awesome Easter. The original 80s version of the Turtles. To me, that's the best version. Even though Nickelodeon did a hell of a job with the newest version of the Turtles. Excellently done. Excellent cartoon. Excellent. But Let's see. Dudley Moore, John Lithgow, Santa Claus, the movie, long before the Tim Allen version. 1985, so before that good good movie still need to pop it in because it is, it is Christmas time so I need to get, to get to watching this and now since I'm making this video finally I can get this stuff put on a shelf because I've been holding off on putting it away because I've been wanting to make the video make the video chilling wasting my time it's like okay just make the video show people show people your wares Chronicles of Narnia Game Boy Advance complete this was an amazing find for the Goodwill because normally you're lucky if you find a Game Boy Advance game at Goodwill. And this has the box, a little dented up, but it is the box. We have the registration card. We have the health and safety gaming manual. We have the Chronicles of Narnia manual. And it even has the Chronicles of Narnia, the Witch in the Wardrobe poster. Which I was very glad to see. So, that's all my wares for what I've bought the last month or two since I'd say two months, November, November into December. You know, I should be buying gifts and stuff. I was buying random stuff for myself. But yet, I'm almost done holiday shopping, so there's a the good thing. And the game is even still in its little baggie. Alright, friends. Hopefully you enjoyed my ramblings and showing off what I've picked up recently. Hopefully, everybody's having a great day, playing some games, collecting what they love and enjoy, being supportive to other channels, being supportive to all the friends in the gaming, gaming GNN, Gaming Central, Gamers Nerdgasm, and all the other Facebook groups that you might be a member of. And I just want to say, be positive. Stay positive. Have a good day. Support others. Have fun. Play some games. Watch some movies. And enjoy life. And in this Friday, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Can't wait. It's going to be great. Alright guys, have a great day. We'll talk to you all again soon. Comment. Share. Spread the word. Since my channel has grown very nicely recently, I'm very happy to see the growth and hopefully keep pushing out the content for you and keep everybody entertained and we'll see how it's going. Everybody have a great day. I must be going because I need to go and get to work. Let's go play the night nurse because they care patients. But it's all good because it's what I love doing. So everybody have a great day. Talk to you all again soon. Until then, peace.